Hello, welcome to Learning from Home channel. Now, in this video, we talk about filtering data, how to filter data by using the date filter, number filter, search filter, and also how to copy paste filtered data as well. So, when you check, I have a table here. Now, this table contains one test, that is a list. We have date here and we have number as well. So, we're going to apply for that is a checkbox, date filter, and number filter. Then, we apply the test as well. So you can see I have a list that's the name of a country and you have a name of days, days of the week, then you have the months of the year. I have dates and have numbers as well. So how can you activate the filter button? Now the filter button are located on top of the, the headers. So these are the headers, the list, date, and uh, the number. Every table has a header. So this table, this, these are the headers for the table. Now, these are the header lists, okay? So now, with this header, how can you activate the filter button on? Now, in order to activate, go to the Home tab, click on any of the header, the header list, okay? Or the header, this is a header list. We have list, we have date, and we have what? The number. So, with the header list, click on any, and go to the Home tab. Now, go to Sort and Filter. Click on the drop down arrow and now click on filter. As soon as you click on filter, you see there's a drop down button being added to the list, the header list. And these drop downs are the ones that we're going to use in the filtering. So now let's first talk about the list. Now, how can you filter with the list? So click on the drop down um, button. Now you see we have sort, we have A to Z and Z to A. So A to Z means the ascending other. So you can see now the list here contains A. That is a G, T, B, N, N, S, B, S, N, and so forth. So if you click on ascending other, let's see how it's going to array in ascending from A to Z. So click on ascending other. Now you can see we have April, August, Benin, okay, in ascending other. So it means, you can see now, now here is activated. So it means this has been arranged in an ascending other. Not only that, you can also decide to choose a specific month, a specific test. Check here. So this select all. So if you want to view for only April, now I click on that. Now I see April has been uh, elected. So you can see April is here. Now if you want to view in addition to August, as soon as you select it, you can see August will just pop out. Okay. And if you want to check for only a country here, this you can see it is only here. So that is a check box. That's a check box. So as soon as you check the box or you click on the check box, it's going to show or going to filter it over here as well. Not only that, so you can just if you want to clear the filter, you can just go to clear filter and you're going to clear everything here. Or you can just click on this clear and it's going to clear every so clear or it's going to clear everything here okay so now um, let's go to the next one when you click on that you can see we have what here filter by color and here you choose choose one now when you choose one when you click on this you can see equal to that's not equal to begins with that's not begin with so let's pick it one after the other and see so you want to choose so equal to okay now equal to you want to choose from the list any word that equals to let's say um april so when done as soon as you click you can see now april is there so that's the manual of um just filtering the table or let's say um you want tuesday as soon as you, you just type you see it is now um filtered okay that's the equal to all right and let's see, you can decide to choose another one that does not equal to. So all test which does not equal to Tuesday. So does not equal to Tuesday. So we see. Okay, so equal to. All right, so it must be here. So equal to Tuesday must be here, right? So choose one equal to. Then you type in the test here. That's a Tuesday. So you type in Tuesday. It's going to bring only to the because it is equal to all right now let's add equal to april and we see april is only selected all right 
Now let's go to the next one. That is a that is not equal to April. So when you choose that is not equal to, it means it's going to take off the April from the list and I'm going to show you the rest. So you can see that there's no April here. So you can see January, you have July, June, March, May, and you see there's no April here. Okay, you see there's no April here. All right, and so that is it. And when you go to begin with, so begin with, let's say A. So it's going to sort out all text begins with A. Okay, so begin with, um, let's say M. It's going to search for March, May, and Monday. Okay, so that is it for that. And when you go to does not begin with, ends with. So let's say if ends with Y, ends with Y. You will see we have a list. All these lists here, they end with what? Y. So that is it to filter for the list. So as soon as you click on the filter, the list, that's the test type. You will see we have ascending and descending, and we have the following as well. So if I'm done, you can just go click on clear filter, and everything's going to clear. So that is it for the list. Let's go for the date. Now when you click on the date, you could see now with the date, we have the same thing applies to the date. Now you can just select an ascending other, that ascending other, and we have descending other as well. And you can do the same thing as you did here to the same date as well. So now when you click on the filter, you see we have more additional uh, feature than the, the list or the test. So when you click on this, as you can see we have before, after, between, tomorrow, today, yesterday, um, next week, and whatever. So let's say uh, we have equal to next month. So equal to next month. See, there's no next month here. Okay, so you don't have the data here. But you can decide to choose uh, last year. And last, you can see last year was 2021. So you can see here. And not only last year, you can see last 2018. You're going to have it over here. Uh, 2021, you have it. Now 2022, you have it as well. So that is the way to also filter the date. Now when you click on this drop down, you may have a lot to choose from. And it depends on what you want to do. You select from that. All right, so let's go to the number and click on the number. And the number two, it has the same function as the, the list also has. So when you click on, you can just decide to ascend another from the smallest to um, the biggest. Now choose from, you have equal to greater than so, which is greater than, let's choose from the greater than. So, the number which is greater than, let's say 1,000. Okay, so 1,000. Now, as soon as you click on the 1,000, all these values here, they are greater than or 1,000. But let's pick of 10,000 or let's pick of um, 3,000. So, you can see, now it's been sorted or filtered. Now, you can see the numbers here, they are all greater than 3,000. So that is a way to sort um, this or filter the table, any table. Click on the, the heading and now go to the home tab, go to sort and filter and click on filter to just filter it. Now also if you want to, um, there's another way to do that. Click on the table, okay, click on the table. Now go to any cell in the table and now go to the table tab. As soon as you click on the table, uh, table tab is going to be added to the tabs over there. Click on the table tab. Now you can see we have filter button. Filter button. So you can just click. When you click on the filter button, uh, one, you click to select it and you click to deselect it, right? So when you click to select it, it means it is activated. Now you can see the filter button. Now when you uncheck it, you mean the filter button is off. So when you are done filtering the data, then you click on that to just take it this off. When you want to just filter, you click on that to just filter this. Now let's go for the next one, the last one. That is a copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. So let's do a clear filter. Okay, so clear. All right, so let me just, let's clear everything here, clear. Okay, this is clear. Clear. Okay, so now it's been cleared. So um, now let's go for how the last one that is to copy paste. How to copy and paste a filtered um, test. 
So let's say you want to copy, you want to filter this number. Now all numbers which are greater than 2000, 2000. So, so all numbers which are greater than 2000. Okay, so we have this. Now this, all these numbers are greater than 2000. I want us to make it 3000. So let's make it 3000. Okay. So we have only this 3000. We have only this um, list here. Now if you want to just highlight them, just want to copy, just click on them, click on any cell, then click on Control plus A. Control plus A. Then, as long as you click on Control plus A, you can see from here, 44, 45, 46. Okay, it means so only these lines shows here have the, or they meet the specification that you want. So now when you want them, you can just copy, just right, uh, right click and go to copy, or control plus C to copy. Now when they can just paste it, any cell can just paste it over here, and that's when you have the filtered um, text being copied and pasted as well. So it is so simple and it's so easy to do that. What you need to do is just filter. After filtering, just control plus or you can just highlight it, just copy and paste it. And that is it um, for all. All right, so guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video.